Hi there, my name is Owen Cooper. I do technical sound design for video games. Today I want to show you a tutorial for making a singleton audio manager and using that to manage wise states. We're going to do a gameplay state and a music state. And so I'll go ahead and demo what we're doing here. So we have our default uh, main menu music. And with this input manager, I can change the different states. And what's kind of cool is we have this hidden, um, these read-only properties here that just show which state we're currently in. So we have level start, level win, level lose, pause menu music and we have different game states main menu and gameplay are basically just pass-throughs game over applies a low pass filter pause is a radio effect so a low and a high pass filter and then we also have a little text-to-speech for debugging game state pause so I can check which game state we're in game state gameplay Game state, main menu, game state, game over. And I can also check uh, which music state we're currently in. Music state, level start. Music state, level win. Music state, level lose. Music state, pause menu. So that gives you some idea of how we're doing that. And so what we're doing in this audio manager is we have a way to manage our startup sound banks. So we could uh, increase this size if we needed to. Let's say we, we don't need to actually. And we're storing our different state variables here. We have a way to check what our current state is to debug. And we have, we're storing our music state values as well. We have global type events here. So these are, we're just using these to debug using the text to speech to tell us what states we're in and we have our music events. So one of the nice things about doing this is that if you have global events or global parameters or global states, you can manage them all in this one object and using the singleton pattern, we can make sure that only one exists in the scene and it will persist. So the way that I'm managing the states in this example is we are using enums and what's nice about using enums versus say the standard uh, AK sound engine methods is that that requires using strings and you may forget the strings or they may change at any time during development. This way you're limiting your options so that, for example, if I go over here uh, and I did AK sound engine set state, I'd have to know I'd have to know whatever the, the name of the state group and the name of this, this uh, actual state. I'd have to remember both of those strings. But what we're going to do instead is we can reference our audio manager instance and we have a custom method that's setting the game state or the music state. And what's cool is that because it requires these enum types, I'm setting the audio music state, so I need an audio music state enum. And we get this little drop down menu that shows us all of our options and then it's limiting. So that's good. It, it reduces the possibility that we're going to accidentally break things. So if all that looks good to you in the next video, I'm going to be setting up the wise project. And then in a third video, I will be setting up the unity project and going through all of this scripting. So I'll see you over there.